All right, this is a classic uh, Fourth of July educational science experiment. We're going to turn wooden matches into rockets. So the idea is this: if you light a match, it just is going to flare up and burn. But if you control where the burn energy goes, then you can turn it into a rocket. So what we'll do is wrap the end of the match in foil and then light fire underneath it to set this off and it will shoot all of the burn energy backwards and take off like a rocket. That's the theory anyway. The problem is a modern match, these are actually the good ones too. These are the, the classic uh, diamond strike anywhere matches. Do you see how tiny the head of the match has gotten? Some of these are, are positively silly and, and barely have any propellant on them at all. Like, uh, here's an example, look at that. There's almost nothing on the end of that match, whereas the old ones were big and fat. So if you did this experiment in 1975, it would work and it would launch like a rocket. But now, when you do just one match, it looks like this. So the, the rocket just sits on the launch pad and squirts out a little bit of smoke. So what we're gonna do is chop off the heads of a bunch of matches, put them all together at the end of one match, wrap it in foil, and set it off and see if it, how far it flies. And if you want to learn something, the educational part of this is that um, you're learning that if you take something that, that burns energy and you can put it into a confined space, then that energy becomes very powerful and goes off in one direction. Whereas if you burn it just out in the open, it just kind of burns freely. Now the reason I'm cutting the heads off is because if we just bound a bunch of matches together, then they wouldn't have enough energy to lift up all those match sticks. So we're just taking the fuel off of the stick. That way it'll be almost as light as a single match, but it'll have the power of uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matches. So let's go with seven match heads. And then with the foil, so you put your match heads on the foil all together. And then the main match goes right in the middle of them. And then the idea is with the foil, we're creating something that the, the expanding gases can't bust their way through. So when we wrap up the foil, it'll create enough layers to con contain all of the energy that's coming out of the burning match heads. So as we wrap it up, of course, it's going to explode if it doesn't have a, a channel for the, the um, gases to come out of. So we take a pen, just a regular stick pen, and push it up up the match stick all the way to the head, being careful not to poke it, you know, poke a hole in the uh, aluminum foil on the other end. And then we wrap the aluminum up tight around the pin, sealing up the top end. So now we've got a big explosive bundle at the top. It's going to be kind of a top heavy rocket. And then you've got the pin here, which we're going to pull out, leaving just a little channel for all the energy to come out of. And then we'll prop it up on a paper clip out in the front yard, fire it off, and see what kind of distance we get. So a paper clip makes a great launch pad. You just spread out one end and then the other end, make a triangle, bend this up, and then rocket kind of cradles in here. And so the rocket just sits right in the crease of the paper clip there. And then you light it up and pshh, we're not gonna do this in the house. So let's go do it in the front yard, see what we get. All right, we've wet down the ground with some water to prevent fires. We're doing this on the concrete driveway, so there's not much chance of a fire anyway. And then we've got some water standing by and we'll soak it down with the water once we've launched the rocket. Yeah, it worked. <laughs> so that is great success. You see, you're not gonna be taken out in the airplanes with this thing. Uh, it went about a foot and a half, but uh, all good fun. Good science for the kiddies. So enjoy, and don't burn your house down.